Hello guys, good morning. I'm happy you are here. I'm Rinske Dauna and this is my art channel. But today I'm not gonna make a pour or an acrylic painting. We are gonna watch other artists making a painting. Flaming Inferno fire pieces. I'm gonna react to it, give my commentary, my insights. I watch those videos anyway, so why not make a video about it? So let's get started. Okay, so I will put my ears in here and let's get started with the first video I have lined up. It's from Molly's Artistry and her title is On Fire, Inferno. So let's watch this together. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I'm doing a piece that is similar to another video that I did called Inferno. This time I'm doing it on a square canvas and my paints are just a little bit thicker because I really want the colors to pop on the black background that I'm So her colors are gonna be a little bit thicker so it would have been great if I watched the other video. I didn't but we're gonna watch this result. Can't wait to get started because I think a square canvas for a fire painting can be challenging. So a black base, blowing it out. I always blow my base out. I really like to blow it out. And she holds her blow dryer very angled, like at 90 degrees. So what you see here already, is that that yellow looks already a kind of greenish. It has a kind of greenish tint to it. We're gonna see how she's gonna layer this design because I think she needs to layer the yellow or on top or between the colors, um, but not start with the yellow. So we'll see. All right, I'm gonna set my black aside for now and I am gonna start with the red next to the black. That gives a really pretty. Yeah, so she's starting with the red. 20 by 20. You see, she uses her stance. I got her stance here as well to level up her painting. It's super handy. Okay. And then normally when I blow, those colors will end up meeting each other going to come in with the yellow next. The yellow next. I did thicken up my paints just a little bit for this one. The orange. I wanted to see if the cells would hold any better or if they wouldn't hold. Ooh, I had a clump there. I just mixed some more orange. So This is such an interesting way to layer your paint. I can't wait to see what she will create here. Her side design, she calls it. Okay, all right, got this part. Now, I've said this before, but yellow and black sometimes make green. So you just want to keep... Thank you, Molly, for confirming here. Keep that in mind when you're pouring your colors. Ooh, this one's kind of thick. Okay, we'll see. Probably shouldn't experiment. Yeah, so this is perfect. She is layering the yellow exactly on top of the other color. So she is not letting it touch with the black hair, or at least yet. So let's continue. Yeah, beautiful. Now I'm gonna come in basically over the yellow with the white. I think uh, white is perfect for this because um, the black and the white give a lot of contrast. And of course the other colors do as well. But you would like that the white mixes a little bit with the yellow, orange and the red. So that it uh, gives more definition and that you have more tints and shades of this, these colors. So it will look more like fire. I've been wanting to do something kind of funky and just do a piece like this, but just leave it. Like maybe blow it on the corner, I don't know. Well, Molly, you should definitely do that. It would be funky. 
can't wait to see how that will dry because then you have a lot of paint on one part so it must maybe run or yeah maybe even crack i don't know it's gonna be interesting to see and just blow one part out why not go for it you know Are the things that I think about in my garage. <clears throat> I need my studio. Yeah, so we always start somewhere, right? So the first videos of mine that you saw probably were in a super tiny space in my house and we were standing in a corner. I couldn't do bigger canvases than like, what is it, a 12 by 20 um certainly not more than one because i didn't have enough drying space but now i'm so happy with the studio blessed with that but yeah if you have passion for something you make the room right okay i'm gonna blow this out here we go yes so this is very interesting to see because she also now holds her blow dryer in a 90 degrees direction and just blows it out like it's so easy. I feel like when I'm blowing it out, I use the blow dryer a bit more like this, but her paint moves so, so easy and soft. And you already see some lacing popping up there. Beautiful. So I'm very curious to see how she's gonna attach those parts there. Uh, what I love about this is that um, it's very chaotic, like my chaos design paintings. Um, but, but since she layered lines, uh, the black is coming up as well between it. Um, this gives a beautiful effect. Can't wait to see the full design. Do you see how she holds this blow dryer? So delicate. Perfect. Yeah. This is amazing. Looking amazing. Wow, is that beautiful. It is, Molly. It is. Wow. The design is perfect right away. I I might get, you know, like a Halloween type feel because I felt that way on Inferno, but then it it felt like uh, ended up feeling like kind of kind of like autumn. No, your color stayed so super vibrant. This is such a flaming fire, yeah, Inferno piece. It's beautiful. So yeah, let's skip to the dried result here. I can't wait. I know Molly always shows the, the dried results. Ah, oh. yeah, that's beautiful. The acrylics always dry a little bit darker. That's gorgeous when you're using contrast colors on black and you want them to be a little bit, you know, deeper. That happened here with the red, I can already see it. Perfect piece, Molly, I must this say. This is one of the prettiest pieces. I think this one came out better than the original Inferno that I did. I love the colors here. Yeah, Molly, you did amazing. This piece is beautiful. Can't wait to see what you will create next for your next Inferno piece. But we are gonna go ahead for the next video. The next artist is Olga Sobi and she's going to use black, red and white here. I don't know what she will create. It's going to be a little bit surprise. Let's get started. 
Hello my creative friends! Welcome to another acrylic pouring video. Today it's gonna be something new. Today I want to try to go for the uh, split color base with the open cup technique. I have never okay. done this combo. Alright, that's gonna be a lot of fun because it's not gonna be a Dutch pour. It's an open cup so she needs to use probably a thicker mixture as well. And Olga, you look pretty before but recently I have done many uh, color split pours mostly with the final technique and I achieve a lot of beautiful effects and what I love about split color base is that it allows you to manipulate with a negative space in the yeah it's true I love the split color base I yeah I do it very regularly um, yeah, doing it since last year, beginning of 2020, I think. I think it has so many possibilities and also make your piece so much more interesting because you can play with a lot more colors, you know, dark and light and then in the middle designs. Yeah, the composition and the negative space is much more interesting with the split color base, in my opinion. Very unique way. It also helps you to achieve balance with the composition and, of course, a lot of contrast, especially if you're using a contrasting color. It's like I already saw those videos and I'm just repeating what you're saying. Thanks, Olga. Let's get started with your pour here. Okay, so she does have a way different technique of uh, doing the base. Uh, Molly and me, we are blowing out the base. Uh, she's doing it very neat with her palette knife. It's maybe easier for a split color base, but still I always prefer to blow it out. Why? I just love my blow dryer. It's my best friend. So as you can tell I have my sides taped so I don't want to be covered so I don't need to worry about them um, today which is nice yeah I think it's beautiful if you have a panel and a beautiful wooden side I think that's a great call and you're probably gonna rest in this as well so I'm gonna place it here in the center and by the way I'm gonna list all the supplies colors and mixture and everything else Oh, I now see her colors. I might have missed that in the video. But she's using some violet here as well. Or the purple. Gonna be fun. That I'm using in the video description. So check it out. And yeah, I'm gonna travel it just on a border between the black and white. So let me think through the colors. I always like to think through the order. It's like my favorite. Yeah, that's fun. I do that always. So when I have a color selection in my mind uh, and I've poured all the colors in my cups or in the bottles, then I always put them on line of how I want to pour them before I forget. <laughs> it's, by the way, super important for the effects or the colors you want to create, how you layer colors for an open cup, for a Dutch pour. Because uh, the colors you put on top, they tend to mix together. So let's say if you're using a, a, a yellow and a blue on top of each other, you probably will get green. But yeah, if you use the yellow on top of the magenta, you probably end up with some orange. Super important. Yeah, let's do it this way. All right, so next I layer colors in the open cup. And I'm going to do several rounds of each color, so I don't add a whole lot of one color at a time. And here I have, I think I forgot to mention, here I have the carmine gold, a primary red and deep violet. begin to travel already, <laughs> lift it a little bit, uh, 
before I'm gonna release it, I want to add just a touch of black on the bottom and white at the top. Oh, your scare reaction. <gasps> I get it. I get it before it runs off the other side. Huh? That was part of the plan. So let's quickly do that. And this cup is independent. I'm, I'm very let's curious. Go. I'm very curious if the violet is coming true here because she is using two um, two colors of red, a gold and a violet. Um, let's see. Let's check it out. Oh, I love this. I love the yeah. cells popping up. Wow. Wow, that's beautiful. She went so fast with her cup. So I'm not um, an open cup technique kind of girl. Uh, I did it twice now. Yeah. And um, I remember I was going very slow, you know, very composed, gentle. She did it very fast. I was very surprised by that. But this result is gorgeous. You do see some violet shine through it. Yeah. Beautiful. Can't wait to see how she um, yeah, will make this piece more interesting. But I must say, I love it the way it is already. You know, I love negative space. Minimal design. That's a great call with an open cup to stretch it out because a lot of the times there are cells and they need to come up still. And if you stretch it out, they will tend to come up a little bit more and they grow bigger, right? Um, yeah, I can say this, but if you saw my videos, I'm not much of a tilter. Somehow I'm a little bit scared to tilt. Oh, Olga, okay, you're not. So it's good we're watching this video. So now I'm sort of thinking, which way do I want to uh, take it, whether I want to... Honestly, Olga, oh if you leave it like this, it's one of my favorites. Uh, very curious what you will do here more. I think if this was my piece, I would leave it. What you're gonna do? I'll leave it or not. I really like the bottom part. This line of gold, yeah, uh, blending into black. It's so beautiful. I love these cells, and I really like this uh, red section with the um, sort of red cells showing through the black. Absolutely love it. I definitely don't want to mess this up. <laughs> I'm not so sure how I feel about the top and whether I want to do anything with it or not. I think I'll try to blow it just to the white section, to the white. Um, okay side oh So you see definitely here, by the way, that the paint of Olga is a lot thicker and probably use some flow throw in it. You see it with the, uh, the white and how the cells are coming uh, through there, but not really coming through. Um, that there must be flow throw in her mixture. Uh, yeah, her paint is reacting slower than with Molly's painting. But I love her first blowout there with the magenta pop a little bit. Great contrast with the busyness that's inside. And man, black, white, red and gold. This combo is so good. It's so striking. So Yes, this is beautiful. Okay, let me check if you have a dried result here. Would love to see that. You have and you resin the piece. I already thought so. Yeah. 
that's one hell of a gorgeous piece. I don't know if I need to pick between Molly's and Olga's. I don't know, guys. These are both so different and they both turned out amazing. Oh, I love them both. Well, guys, this was already the end of this video. I would love to hear if you would like more of these kind of videos. I'm watching those videos anyway, right? So why not with you? Next time I will have some coffee, maybe a little snack, and let's watch together. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.